Greetings, people of the internet. It's Scott with CircWorks. It's Friday. You know what that means. It's Fan Art Friday, and today we're going to be adding some color to the character we did last week, so let's break out the copics. <laughs> nah, it's not Wolverine. It's Deadpool, but he has some of the same healing power. Let's get to it. <laughs> Alright, so instead of uh, drawing something new this week, I decided to splash some color on old Deadpool here. And one of the reasons is um, I, I ran out of ink. As you can see here, that's my deleted black, and it's that's the ink I usually use. And uh, I, it's I ran out, and I don't have a, I don't have a backup ink. Which uh, the good thing about the deleter is the, and I mentioned this before, but it, it seems and you know, let me know in the comments if you guys have any other experiences, but. And I've seen people with ink with ink with you know all kinds of ink and use Copics, but really this and other maybe there's some other brands of like manga ink that I've only been able to find in Japan um, are the only ones I can get to to not like uh, bleed when you when you run Copics over them unless you're using like the Copic like multi liner, but it's not really like a, a like a like an ink it's it's more like a pen. Um, so I don't know if you guys know of any other inks that, that work well for that, that you might be able to find a little easier just at, at a regular art store or, you know, that that's not doesn't have to be shipped from from Japan because it takes uh, it takes a little while to get here. So anyway, so uh, what I'm doing here is I am just I've got like three different colors of the Copics and sometimes I'll, I'll use a mix of different markers. I've got some older marker sets that are like Pantone and things like that because um, I try not to use the Copic so much because as you know if you've ever priced them they can be kind of expensive and I, I don't want them to run out <laughs> um, but this one I've, um, I just decided to there's not that many colors in this particular drawing but uh, I'm using three different um, three different reds and I'll start off with uh, it's almost like uh, it's it's a little closer to pink and, and red's kind of a weird color when you're um, when you're you know when you're coloring, <laughs> I guess, because yeah, um, in order to go light enough, you either have to go pink, or a lot of times I'll like to add add a little more yellow, which so so kind of more like an orangish red. Um, but then then the costume tends to even if you're using just just a real light real light orange as, as your as your lighter color, it, it still tends to make the costume look orange. So but this one I used used a you know it's more of a pink but it looks okay because a lot of times you don't want I mean you don't want the costume to look pink either so I kind of struggle with reds in that respect but anyway this looks okay so I'm, I've used a, a sort of real light kind of pinkish red and then then my standard red and now you know and then I go in right here you can see with uh, like a dark almost like a maroon for some of the darker shadows and um, and that's kind of what's going on here so yeah I know last week I talked a lot about uh, you know a lot about Deadpool and, and what I know about about him as a character and everything and like I said I'm not as familiar with a lot of people he's such a you know iconic character nowadays um, go to any comic con and you're gonna see tons of Deadpool you know uh, cosplay and fan art and all that kind of stuff so um, but uh, so I, I decided to do a little more you know looking into him a little more I found this BuzzFeed articles it's called the 23 reasons why everyone should love Deadpool I don't know how, art, how old the article is but um, I started reading like the list and you know they get you with those lists <laughs> that's what I should start doing a lot of list the 10 but I did one and I actually got a lot of hits it was the it was for my one of my comic con videos 10 I forgot exactly it was 10 tips or something but uh, yeah, lists seem to uh, get some uh, some hits and things like that. But anyway, so I clicked on this thing, uh, this article, and I was just reading through it, and it really got me a little more interested in the character. I mean, it, it would have a, a you know it would have a, a headline like the first one is he's the master of breaking the fourth wall, which I know that one. Um, but then they'd give a little example like a page from a comic, and uh, and you know just reading these little blurbs from these comics, uh, I really. Yeah, it was really funny and well written and everything. A lot of these, um, yeah, a lot of these little art not articles, but list items, um, you know, just really good. So if I can remember, I'll put I'll put a link to that in the uh, in the comment section. I'm sure I'm sure like most of you guys, if you're watching this, you're probably big Deadpool fans already, so you probably already know this stuff. But but no, I read through it and um, I, I 
I, I got a good sense of a little better sense of the character and uh, and uh, a little more intrigue. So because you know, I go back to kind of when he was first introduced, and I mentioned this before, where you know, I think Liefeld who created him, I I, I think he took a, a different life after as as writers started to take the character in, into different directions and everything but it just uh, although the costume is cool I mean there was so many I mean if you go back to the 90s and some of them didn't really stick but there's so many other characters very similar to Deadpool and you know I think when Image came out I forgot what it was there was another one that you know I think he had the red and black costume and everything it was, I forgot his name but it was <laughs> almost exactly like Deadpool but but anyway so so yeah, so I you know I'm getting a little more psyched about the movie. Um, I am a little bit nervous just because um, all the negative buzz and everything. I haven't seen the movie, and I don't. I definitely am not going to run out to see it in the theater. I might. I might. I'm talking about it before <laughs> I'm talking about a movie, and then I don't mention what it is. But I'm I'm getting to the Fantastic or Fantastic Four. Um, <laughs> Uh, movie that came out that just did you know just got horrible reviews and now I kind of have to see is it is it can it really be that bad I'm not going to waste you know my money I'll wait till it comes out on on DVD and rent it or something but um, but yeah so uh, it was put out by the same studio that's putting out Deadpool and it's which is Fox which if you've seen any of the X-Men movies you'll know that um, it's kind of hit or miss with those movies I mean I think why am I blanking on the director's name? Um, I can't remember his name offhand. Usually I'm good with that kind of stuff. But um, the director who did, um, I don't know, he directed Usual Suspects and he directed the first two X-Men. Um, and uh, it seems like most of the movies that he's done have, have been pretty good takes on it. So I don't know if they just... I guess what I'm getting at is like the studio interference and that, that people are, it's kind of... It seems like that's what people are thinking the reason for this Fantastic Four debacle was, was that the studio came in and made all kind of changes because the Josh Trank, who's the director of this new Fantastic Four, he did Chronicle. And if you've seen Chronicle, and I highly recommend it, it's a really good movie. Um, so maybe he had a different vision that was changed, but then again, you know, a lot of that, a lot, I think a lot of that what brought to screen had to be, you know, his, sort of his direction, because um, if you've seen Chronicle, it's a different take on superheroes and definitely different than... Uh, you know, Fantastic Four, which, you know, I don't know. I, I just think they should stick closer to the source material and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, they, the studio, for whatever reason, I mean, they're still, despite everything that Marvel's done, it seems like they're still like, oh, yeah, you can't just do it like it's done in the comics. And I think, I think DC's kind of guilty of that, too. Um, but, you know, the good thing, I think the, the, the good thing about about the Marvel properties, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, is that Disney seems to be a little more hands-off. Like, they'll go in and they'll buy, like, a, you know, they'll go, I, I don't know if they still own the Muppets. I think the Muppets went back to somebody else, but at one time they owned the Muppets or whatever. But, but um, they, you know, they, they went in and they bought, um, you know, they bought Marvel and they bought, you know, they, Pixar and, um, and, uh, who's, you know, and I, oh, Star Wars, so. So, but it seems like they're kind of like, you guys know what you're doing or we're going to get people that really love the material and let them run with it and let them do their thing and not get so involved and we'll just sit back and collect the money, which I think some of these studio, other studios haven't realized yet. So, um, a little nervous about Deadpool after, you know, and then so even some of the stuff with the new Fantastic, or the new, um, new, uh, <sighs> Uh, X-Men movie and some of it looks good like you know it looks like the Psylocke costume is kind of dead on but then again you look at the apocalypse and there's a lot of obviously if you've been following the internet there's a lot of negative stuff that comes along <laughs> around with that so but anyway so yeah hopefully hopefully it'll be a good movie we'll see um, hopefully Fox won't get two hands and maybe get too much of their hands in it maybe they'll learn their lesson I don't know but you know it's kind of like it seems like a three strikes things when Sony did the three Spider-Man movies. Um, I mean, they did three really bad Spider-Man movies. Well, not really bad. I mean, the last two, The Amazing Spider-Man, was okay. It had, it had some really good things about it, but all in all, it just it did, I don't think it really worked. And then, of course, Spider-Man 3. Um, so eventually, I think they just discovered, you know, we don't know what we're doing with this character. Let's, let's work a deal out with Marvel. So maybe Fox will do that and 
But right now, it's been Fantastic Four has been done so many times. I don't know. I don't know if I want it rebooted that soon, but we'll see what they do with Deadpool. Maybe they can redeem themselves. And I am going to um, going to wrap this up again. Uh, oh yeah, if you if you like this artwork and uh, you want to purchase this or any of the other stuff I've done on Fan, Fan Art Friday, um, hit me up on the either a YouTube comment section or, or a Facebook message or something like that, and let me know. But a lot of those the, those that artwork is still available and I don't mention it that much but um, I have sold a few but if you're interested in something like that uh, yeah hit me up let me know thanks for leaving comments thanks for um, liking and thanks for subscribing and I will catch you on the next Fan Art Friday if I don't see you before then and yeah that is all Thank mm -hmm. you.